Blackboard Building Blocks for Newbies, NewbieCast, Debugging Building Blocks with Eclipse. In this screencast, I'll show you how to turn on debugging on your Blackboard development server. I'll show you how to enable Eclipse to talk to your Blackboard server. And then finally, how you can debug your building block projects inside Eclipse. Okay, let's get started. As you can see, we're looking at my development environment server, and I have my copy of Eclipse Helios opened up. I have my project, the B2 Quizlet project open, and I have some pages ready and available as well. Um, I also have a browser open, and I've logged into Blackboard Learn. Okay, the first thing that you need to do is you need to configure Blackboard Learn for debugging. So the first, first step here is I'm going to open up a command prompt and I'm gonna go to the Blackboard install config folder and inside the config folder there's a BB config properties file you see that right there I'm gonna edit that Okay, with the big BB config properties file open, we need to find the Tomcat debug setting. So let's see if I can find this here. Uh, all right, there it is. You can see right now it's set to false. I'm going to edit that, change it to true. Uh, by the way, you also notice here that uh, in the JVM options, uh, it says 2222. That's the port on which the debugger, the Tomcat debugger, is going to listen. Okay, so when I'm done, I'm going to close this, save it, and then I'm going to run push config updates. And this is going to make the changes to the configuration files and then it's going to stop and restart the Blackboard services. This takes a bit of time so we're going to pause it and come back when it's all done. Okay. All right, it looks like that process has completed and now before you go back into Eclipse here and, and try to attach to the debugger, the first thing that you should do is uh, make sure that it's running. So let's do a net stat. Uh, AN and let's try to find the listening port which as we saw before was 2222 so okay there it is it's listening on that port so we're good to go alright let's close this up and head back into Eclipse now when you're in Eclipse what you'll need to do is go to debug and debug configurations and uh, remote Java application and add a new configuration here you should browse for the project you want to debug. I'm going to debug my Quizlet project. And I want to change my port to 2222. And I hit, let's save it, and then let's hit debug. Okay, it's launching the debug config down there. You just kind of saw that happening. All right, we're ready to rock and roll. So let's go back to Blackboard Learn, and let's load. Oh, we finally have to set a breakpoint here. So I'm in about JSP. Let's pop a breakpoint right here. Now uh, let's put it on the line above it. So I have this breakpoint on this this line here where we get the plugin, and then the line after this is going to get the ID of the plugin. So let's see if we can drop a breakpoint here and see what happens. Let's go here, and when I click this, it's going to load the about page because that's the entry point, and you can see I'm flashing down here. If I click back here, it switched me to the debug perspective. Um, this is a little messy because the screen's small, so let me move this around a bit, make it a little better. You can see I was dropped right on my breakpoint, and over here I can inspect my variable states. Uh, I can see my request state, my response states, uh, this, and I can step into or step over. I'm going to step over this and now in my variables I should have a P which is my plugin 
I can take a look at this and I can continue to step on over if I want and I can when I'm done and I want to just continue running I can hit resume that finishes loading the page so you can you can use this to set breakpoints you can inspect variables um, along the way uh, you can add some expressions if you want to do some watches uh, to watch uh, data or variable. This concludes our demo of how to enable debug in your Eclipse development environment for Blackboard Learn. I hope you enjoyed this newbiecast, and I'm Michael Fudge, and we'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.